This dish I call Grand Duke's Ground Nuts. It's based on the Sichuan recipe Grand Duke's Chicken with Ground Nuts, but I've taken out the chicken to make it vegetarian, and I like it better this way. The ingredients are sometimes hard to get, and they're seasonal, but when they're available, I really love making this dish. The main ingredients are ground nuts, green peppers, and onions. Typically, the recipe calls for scallions, which I can't get in country, but often I can find small onions with large green tops, and that's what I'll use this time. So first, we slice the onions fairly thin. So then I marinate the onions by adding first two eggs, that one's good, another good one, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce, I could get this in the capital of the country. Sesame oil, which I also got in the capital, though it's a little harder to find. What should be rice wine vinegar, this is Japanese sushi vinegar that I managed to get. Just a little bit of that. In the next part, you want some rice wine, or what also works very well is sherry. Neither of which I can get here. What I can get is homebrewed mead, which works pretty well. Don't tell. Then you mix that in and let it stand while we're preparing the other ingredients. The green peppers I slice into medium sized squares. The next part that we're going to prepare together is a mixture of the red peppers, a bulb of garlic, and some ginger, preferably fresh ginger. This is dried ginger, it will work also. So I'm going to take out the seeds from the peppers, mince them finely, peel and mince the garlic, and mince the ginger. Now I've chopped the dried chilies, and I get to do the boring job of peeling and mincing the garlic cloves. Next to miss the ginger. So first, we toast the ground nuts on fairly low heat with just a little bit of oil. Okay, you can see they're starting to brown a little bit on the outside and starting to pop. The only sure way to know that they're at the right stage is to taste them. I think these are pretty close, so I'm going to take them off the heat while I check. Yep, that's done. Oops. Now in the same pot, add a little more oil. I want this to get hot. So it just starts to smoke, and at that point, add the green peppers, and we'll cook for about 45 seconds. Add a splash of soy sauce. And keep cooking until they wilt slightly. I can also smell that they're nearly cooked. Off they come. Put the pot back on the fire. Next, the garlic, chilies, and ginger. 
when these start cooking and when the chilies start cooking, it's going to be really hard to breathe because all that chili fire goes right into the air. <coughs> yep, there it goes. And just as soon as the garlic starts to brown, which is almost now, we add the marinated onions with their eggs. So we let the eggs cook through. So the eggs are thoroughly cooked. We add the green peppers back just for long enough to heat through. Add a little bit more soy sauce, about a tablespoon. At the end, you adjust the amount of soy sauce you want individually at your plate. And cook until the green peppers get a little softer. So still crisp, but a little bit flexible. Put the ground nuts back in, and it's done. So serve it over rice. Not traditional Malawian, but I like it.